Am I the only one that knows the real you? Who says this is the real me? For three years, fans of the hit TV show Scrubs have been perplexed by the character known only as the janitor. Occupied. And viewers are now demanding an answer. Who is the janitor and what is his story? Where did the janitor come from? Apparently, even the show's cast and crew are in the dark about this shadowy character. I don't know what he actually does. Everything he said was a lie. My name's Roscoe. We got sick of it. Guten Tag, dog. You simply must sample one of these tea buns my mum sent over from Sussex. People started to wonder if he was real. Well, we know one thing about him is that he was a failed actor. A janitor. Maybe the janitor was all a figment of JD's imagination. Our crack investigative team set out in search of the answers. Whoa, whoa, move a little quick there, have a bub. Just exactly who is this man? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to clean this up. Well, then I think you picked the wrong day to be the janitor. You know what? I'm not really sure what the deal is with the janitor. You know, we never technically wrote that character into the show. He just started showing up. You know what? I chose this life instead because it's a little more glamorous. But I think this is probably the first show that a maintenance person has become part of the show just by, you know, their own strength of willpower. There's some vomit on the back steps with your name on it. Well, that's my cue. You look at previous seasons of Scrubs. What of what the janitor says is true? Does he actually have a wife? You know, did he go to Harvard? Has he done jail time, you know? At one point he has a wife who has a pinky and a middle finger and a thumb only. Then other times he doesn't have a wife at all. He has kids and then sometimes he doesn't have kids. Any sign of my brother, the janitor? Dude, there is no way that we'll ever, ever believe this one. I think he's wanted. Somewhere he's a wanted man, probably for murder. Don't look at me like that. The one thing that we've decided so far that's true is uh, that he was an actor he was a cop in every movie, every TV show, the guy's always a policeman. And uh, one of the most famous ones is The Fugitive. Kimbo! You tell anybody I'll kill you. So does that mean that the janitor's name is really Neil Flynn? Janitor. His name's Janitor. The janitor. Janitor. The janitor. Janitor. The janitor has no name. In fact, if you look at his ID tag, it says janitor on it. Is it? Is it really? No, I was kidding. He doesn't like Zach Braff. I know that. Hey, idiot. Get out of my face. You're stupid. It's like a Wile E. Coyote and Roadrunner cartoon. Two people, for no reason, just torture each other. <laughs> They're arch enemies, you know? I think the janitor's main purpose in life is to get in JD's way, and he'll stop at nothing to do it. Find out you told anybody I'm gonna beat you with Poppy's old nickel sack. <laughs> Rick's over, Binky. It is sadomasochistic. It's basically the janitor seems to almost always win, too. Mentiroso. Feliz Navidad. His dream job is to torture JD and, and get paid for it and retire. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. Well, that's why he comes to work. He looks forward to coming to work and messing with JD. It's a riddle. Two guys destroyed your bike with a crowbar and a bat. One of them wasn't me. I do think the janitor has been nothing but a nemesis to him 99% of the time. I think what's interesting, too, is that once in a while, they actually kind of, for weird reasons, end up on the same side of something. You know, for a minute there, I actually thought you had a twin brother. Really? <laughs> was it when my twin brother was here? Stop it. If you asked him, he'd say he wanted more out of his life, but I think he likes being able to be this downtrodden guy. It's like something to draw upon. Right, people? That's right, ain't nothing up there. He has like a certain pride in what he does and a certain pride in who he is. And, and that's great, that's a message to all you janitors out there. <laughs> but what is his real deal? You know, your guess is as good as mine. The guy could end up being a spy or a criminal or a ghost or, or something odd. I don't know, we'll have to see. Yes, we'll have to see.